Welcome to our doctor channel, your destination for reliable medical information, breakthrough research, and insightful discussions on all things health-related. Vilms's tumor, also known as nephroblastoma, is a type of kidney cancer that primarily affects children. It's a rare cancer, but it is the most common kidney cancer in children. Here are detailed descriptions of the symptoms and causes of Vilms's tumor. Symptoms of Vilms's tumor. Abdominal swelling or mass. 1. One of the most common signs of Vilms's tumor is the presence of a firm, non-tender abdominal mass or swelling. 1. Parents or caregivers may notice an unusual lump when bathing or dressing the child. Abdominal pain or discomfort. 1. Children with Vilms's tumor may experience abdominal pain or discomfort. 1. This pain is often localized to the side of the abdomen where the tumor is located. Hematuria, blood in urine. 1. Blood in the urine may occur, leading to pink, brown, or red-colored urine. 1. Hematuria is not always present, but it can be a noticeable symptom. High blood pressure, hypertension. 1. Vilms's tumor can sometimes cause high blood pressure in children. 1. This occurs due to the release of certain substances by the tumor that affect blood pressure regulation. Fever. 1. Some children with Vilms's tumor may experience fever, although it is not a consistent symptom. 1. Fever is often a result of the body's response to the tumor. Generalized malaise and fatigue. 1. Children with Vilms's tumor may exhibit signs of general malaise, fatigue, and lethargy. Loss of appetite and weight loss. 1. Vilms's tumor can lead to a loss of appetite and weight loss in affected children. Causes and risk factors of Vilms's tumor. Genetic factors. 1. While the exact cause of Vilms's tumor is not well understood, there is evidence to suggest a genetic predisposition. 1. Some cases may be associated with specific genetic mutations or syndromes, such as Wagner syndrome, Beckwith-Wiedemann syndrome, or Dennis-Strasch syndrome. Age. 1. Vilms's tumor is most commonly diagnosed in children aged 3 to 4 years, and it is rare in older children or adults. Race. 1. There is a higher incidence of Vilms's tumor in African American children compared to other racial groups. Gender. 1. Vilms's tumor occurs more frequently in girls than in boys. Birth weight. 1. Children with higher birth weights may have a slightly increased risk of developing Vilms's tumor. Family history. 1. In some cases, there may be a family history of Vilms's tumor or other kidney-related conditions. Prenatal factors. 1. Certain prenatal factors, such as exposure to certain medications during pregnancy, have been explored as potential risk factors. It's important to note that in the majority of cases, there are no clear risk factors, and Vilms's tumor is not preventable. Early detection and prompt medical intervention are crucial for successful treatment and improved outcomes. Children with symptoms suggestive of Vilms's tumor should undergo thorough medical evaluation, including imaging studies and biopsy, to confirm the diagnosis and determine the appropriate treatment plan. Treatment The treatment of Vilms's tumor typically involves a combination of surgery, chemotherapy, and, in some cases, radiation therapy. The specific treatment plan is tailored to the individual characteristics of the tumor, the stage of the disease, and the overall health of the child. A multidisciplinary team, including pediatric oncologists, surgeons, and other healthcare professionals, collaborates to provide comprehensive care. Here is an overview of the common treatment modalities. Surgery. 1. Nephrectomy. The primary treatment for Vilms's tumor is the surgical removal of the affected kidney, nephrectomy. 1. In many cases, the entire kidney is removed, but in certain situations, a partial nephrectomy may be considered to preserve kidney function. Chemotherapy. 
1. Preoperative, neoadjuvant, chemotherapy. In some cases, chemotherapy may be administered before surgery to shrink the tumor and make it more operable. 1. This is known as neoadjuvant chemotherapy. 2. Postoperative, adjuvant, chemotherapy. After surgery, chemotherapy is often continued to eliminate any remaining cancer cells and reduce the risk of recurrence. 2. Adjuvant chemotherapy is usually administered over several months. Radiation therapy. 1. Postoperative radiation. Radiation therapy may be recommended in certain cases, especially when the tumor has characteristics associated with a higher risk of recurrence. 1. Radiation is typically delivered to the abdomen and pelvis. Treatment adjustment based on pathology. 1. The specific type of Vilms's tumor is determined through pathology examination, and treatment may be adjusted based on factors such as tumor histology, favorable or unfavorable, tumor stage, and the presence of certain genetic markers. Clinical trials. 1. Participation in clinical trials may be considered, especially for high-risk cases or situations where novel treatments are being investigated. Supportive care. 1. Supportive care is an essential component of treatment and focuses on managing side effects, supporting the child's overall well-being, and addressing any psychosocial needs. 1. This may include nutritional support, pain management, and psychological support for the child and their family. Follow-up care. 1. After completing the initial treatment, regular follow-up appointments are crucial to monitor for any signs of recurrence and assess the child's overall health. 1. Follow-up care may involve imaging studies, blood tests, and other assessments. The prognosis for Vilms's tumor is generally favorable especially when diagnosed early and treated promptly. The majority of children with Vilms's tumor can be cured, and long-term survival rates are high. However, the specific outlook can vary based on individual factors, and ongoing follow-up care is important for monitoring the child's health and addressing any potential late effects of treatment. Parents and caregivers should work closely with the healthcare team to understand the treatment plan, potential side effects, and long-term care considerations for the child.